Welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet brought to you by mtgotickets.com. I am playing elves in round uh, four of the Pauper Gauntlet. The deck is by Punning Linguist. Shout out to him. And I'm playing against Tibat Magi. I am not a good elves player. This deck plays very differently from how I think about magic. But this is a mulligan. And what I tend to miss is um, getting all the mana out of these elves. This is a keep. And I think I want the island. I have the Burslow Rangers though. Uh, well, I think I'm keeping it anyway. So I'm gonna play the Findhorn elves and then Burslow Rangers and then go from there. Black is, of course, a gigantic problem. A priest of Titania would be fantastic. But now that thing died. So can it kill everything I cast? The Birdflow Ranger doesn't do anything here, so it has to be next turn. But... Um, or maybe it does, maybe it eats the second verdict. And it will protect me against verdict, I will play it. And play the Longbow, which probably is not very good. Getting the Huntmaster online would allow me to overwhelm him. And the only chance of doing that is having an Edict Protected Priest of Titania. I think. Mono Black Control is probably a really bad matchup, but he quits on me. That was lucky for the Elves. Let's see if he quits totally. Well, we'll look over the Mono Black Control sideboard. Uh, there is a lot of windows here. Elves. Mono black control. Take out the longbows. Or two of them at least. Take out the well wisher. That's weird because I thought having a lot of lives would be really helpful against merchants. Plus three spider silk armor. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Why did he concede there? And of course, now there is a real risk that he concedes. Just got a nice comment on fan of history. It's a... It, oh, of course he quit. Then I can tell the story. Oh, I, I was supposed to pad a video. We discussed that in the comments to another video. I think it was me and Galactic President, a brewer from the Gauntlet, that said if the videos were short, they were... Uh, they, you know that it was quitters. So now let's, let's talk. So I'm gonna pad this. Let's even bring up the deck itself. Uh, oh yeah, I, I get... I love your comments here. I've been having trouble during the weekend answering your comments. So there has been a lot of comments left unanswered. Uh, but the comments I get on Fan of History. Fan of History is my history channel. It's a bit smaller than this one. Please check it out. Search YouTube for Fan of History if you like history. Anyway, I just got a comment that said simply, your English fucking sucks. So, as you know, I'm not a native English speaker. I am a Swedish guy. So my English is a bit sing-song and I tend to not follow the vocal shift of the 15th century that dominates English compared to other Germanic languages. That is, I can slip into weird things such as saying, uh, J for journey, like journey instead of journey, like all other languages do. <laughs> and uh, I can go into like the difference between V and W is uh, non-existent in my language. So I can go water, just like the Germans, instead of water. 
So that was my English. Here's, here's the elf deck. Wow, I see some sloppy stuff here. That's what you get when you auto import decks. The visionaries are not the same. So we take away one uh, Ori visionary and put in an M13 visionary. So now they are the same. Let's do the same for Priest of Titania as well. So you should probably not be watching any more of this now. Uh, okay, so go away all of you. We take the four from Promo Priest of Titania. Now it looks a lot better, doesn't it? We can have fancy foil lands as well. I got this for this play account. So I should use them. Here's the island. Fancy foil. How nice. Okay, and then the forest. Now I don't know what to talk about. Ask me random questions in the comments if you want me to talk about anything in another filler video. Give me filler video subjects. Uh, okay, I can't show you the main Pauper Gauntlet document because it includes a lot of unsched uh, uh, scheduled matchups that you yet haven't seen. But elves move on to round five. The um, uh, vote back happens on February 7th. The vote back will be going on for a week, so there won't be any pauper videos from me on the channel for that week. I am getting a week off, but you get a vote for which decks you want to return. You'll get three votes and three decks will return. I'm already working on the article. Well, we are still in Padland. I think we need to make like a 15 minute video at least. So should I just randomly talk? Well, if you wondered what the weird uh, sounds were in the early rounds, I'm now doing this with the sound shut off. I am playing Heroes of the Storm at the same time, uh, which requires no action whatsoever, and you still get experience points, which helps you get gold. So that's sweet. Okay, who has seen Making a Murderer? That seems very, very uh, popular here. We just watched the whole damn season. This guy, and I googled a bit and read about the case, and it sure seems that he's guilty, even though making the murderer makes it seem that he isn't. Oh, what else can I tell you? I'm thinking about starting two more podcasts, but uh, I still haven't monetized the podcast. And I'm trying to make a living doing this, which means that I have to monetize stuff. And as you have probably noted, the channel hasn't grown very much since I started doing full time, so. I really need your help supporting Magic Gathering Strat through Patreon. Please consider giving us a dollar a month or so. That would help a lot. Because there are bills to be paid if you try to do this full time. My main financing still comes from uh, doing magic trading on Magic Online. But that is so boring compared to playing pauper. So I would rather spend more time playing pauper or modern. So that's why I need you to help me out on the Patreon. If you help me out on the Fan of History Patreon, I get all the money and I don't have to share it with Bava. So uh, that would be even better. Hopefully you are interested in history. So what's coming up on Fan of History? Here is one of, one of my greater hits, Life in Sparta. Uh, we are doing, what are we doing? Doing a bloodbath project this, uh, uh, this spring, it's about the bloodbath of Stockholm, one of the most heinous crimes during the medieval period in all of Europe. The Danish king executes 83 Swedes after a party. It's like the Red Wedding. It's awesome. We are talking about that. I am doing the timeline of world history together with a guy called Shane Soresby. He is writing the script. I'm just reading it with my beautiful voice. That is a total coverage of world history from the year 200,000 BC up till today. And then of course I'm doing my narrative series from 1000 BC where I go into great detail on world history. And I just completed the last episode for the 720s BC, the Lelantine War. But the narrative series has a pause. 
uh, and it will start again in April. In April I will also do Game of Thrones chat, but that will be on Hard Nerd Cafe. Because we decided to move that from Fan of History. I'm also doing a special on the murder of the Swedish Prime Minister Olof Palme, which is 30 years ago, on the 28th of February on Fan of History. I think that was the main product of Fan of History is of course the Fan of History podcast. I do four podcasts. Fan of History, Magic Gathering Strat Show, uh, do Fan of History with Brennan, and that is by far my most popular podcast. I also do a Swedish podcast with a girl named Anna about the Swedish book series in Swedish. And then my final podcast is Game of Thrones Chat that I do with Power T. And we will of course start up again when the season starts again. We will do some pre-episodes. So one thing you can comment on in the comments to this video is your top 10 fighters in Westeros. That's one of the videos we're doing, the top 10 fighters in Westeros. I have not read the books because that's my role. I am the TV guy and Power T is the book guy. So uh, he's going to give us the 10 best fighters from the books. And I'm going to give you the 10 best fighters from the series. And that will happen on Hard Nerd Cafe as well. Hard Nerd Cafe has totally been crushed by the Pauper Gauntlet and I've stopped doing all my videos there. Still have two guys who do occasional videos. Sam sometimes does a video as well. But I'm working on Heroes of the Storm to get good enough to make videos. We did a couple of noob videos, but once the Pauper Gauntlet starts slowing down, I will get into more Heroes of the Storm, I think. Unless I get more money from the Patreon here for magic, because I would be happy just doing magic and a little history. 80% magic, 20% history. That would be awesome. But I'm pretty far from being able to support myself. I have this year. So my government grant is now over. I should probably make a video blog about this. But my government grant is over and I'm now living off savings because uh, yeah, I'm making like 200 bucks a month from the YouTube stuff and that's by far not enough. So any way you can help out, subscribe, like, share, uh, support me on Patreon, that would be super sweet. What else can I talk about? I'm gonna talk for two and a half more minutes. Well, hmm. Okay, you wonder about the 720s BC. And the 710s BC is the thing I'm gonna do fan of history narrative shows about. Uh, next, we're coming up. The Assyrian Empire is the world power, the superpower of the near Middle East. It's, they're ruled by Sargon II, the true king who is a busybody, he has usurped power in the Assyrian Empire and now everyone is trying to break free of the empire because the Assyrian Empire is a pretty oppressive state. So now Sargon has to run, uh, run around and save the empire, but he has plenty of powerful enemies such as King Midas himself. Yes, King Midas will appear in the 710s episode and he was a real person, the king of Phrygia. Uh, poor Sargon will also suffer a barbarian invasion, the first real big barbarian invasion from the Russian steppes, the invasion of the Chimerians. Oh, they are not Conan, but they are a pretty awesome horse horde that will ravage the Middle East. And they are doing it because they are hunted by an even more horrible horse horde, the Scythians, but they will not invade until the 7th century BC. We are looking for funding for Fan of History now to make the 7th century BC narrative show. That will include the total destruction of the Neo-Syrian Empire, the rise of the Medes, <clears throat> the Persians and the Neo-Babylonian Empire. And a lot of other fantastic events such as the first circumsailing of Africa, yes! 2000 years before Vasco da Gama, the Phoenicians did sail around Africa and I will prove that in Fan of History. Well, we're getting close to the 15 minute mark. This was an interesting exercise in just talking, rambling to fill out this video. And the purpose then was that you should not know that this is a quitter video. So this is why I did it. Let me know what you think about that. Should I pad the videos like this? It felt pretty pointless. 
<laughs> so if you comment on anything I said here, I will be most happy because then I will feel that it wasn't unnecessary. Anyway, thank you for watching. And elves are in round five of the Popo Gauntlet.